Hello, this is Lucas, and today I'm going to show you how to make an analytics dashboard using Python and WebSockets. So, why WebSockets? WebSockets, basically, they're really fast. Um, in the good old days, people would use polling. Polling is very slow. The reason why is that every time you want data from a server, you have to ask for it. So, because of this, you have to ask for data constantly. Alternatively, with WebSockets, we start by simply establishing a bi-directional connection with the web server. What this means is that we ask for data once, and then the server, as soon as data is available in real time, it sends data to the client very quickly. So I'm going to show you how to make a quick Python server that does both of these sites. So basically, we have a server that's generating data as fast as possible for Python. We do this using a framework called Quart. It's an alternative to Flask. It has the same API. Basically, you create a path. This is a path on a website. So someone goes to my website slash data. And it's a WebSocket. So this WebSocket starts with some data. And then in the infinite loop, it alters this data and publishes it on the WebSocket. This is as fast as possible. As you can see, it's a really tight loop. Um, and if you were just polling this data, it would be extremely slow. Now, alternatively, um, we have the dashboard. The dashboard is, in our case, the client. Um, so this, all it has to do is establish this connection to the WebSocket. In our case, this dashboard is doing some visualization, so let's pretend that that is created here. And then in the infinite loop, we just receive data on the WebSocket, right? So we only send one get request, and then here we're only getting data in real time. And that's really important. So. Um, the other code here is basically just printing the data and plotting it. And now I will show you a demo. So here we have two terminals. Um, this terminal is my Raspberry Pi, and it's going to play the role of the server. So this um, particular code is the first slide I showed with code on it, and it has you know, random data, and it sleeps, publishes it as fast as possible for Python. So let's go ahead and run that in the background. And in the meantime, I will show you um, the client code. So here we have a benchmark. This benchmark basically creates a web server connection, a WebSocket connection. And for infinity, basically, you just receive data, print it, and then show how fast it's coming in. So here's what this looks like. Um, let's do test.py. And then bam, you can see this gets a request, and then WebSockets created, this comes in at 500 hertz. Okay, so that was pretty cool. And now I'm willing to show you a dashboard. So the dashboard um, has a little bit more code involved. Um, a lot of it is just boilerplate. In essence, we um, use this library called Dash Devices, and we also use this library called Plotly. So Essentially, we set up a bunch of boilerplate things like HTML and graphics, um, and eventually we have this callback. This callback gets to create a web server and then basically runs infinitely um, with this WebSocket connection, my bad, um, and gets the data um, specifically here, and then it unpacks it and makes a figure and then publishes this figure to the app and it's told to do this every 0.01 seconds. So there's an artificial limit on it, but as you can see, it's on the client side, so the client can actually um, throttle even faster. So let's go ahead and run that, and then switch quickly over to this page. And here we have our web server URL, and we just reload it, and then bam, we have our uh, WebSockets dashboard. And as you can see, data is coming in, you know, roughly 100 times per second, um, because that's what we asked for. So you can go even faster, you can optimize your code, and, you know, this is just using Python, but there's a lot more you can do. This is just, you know, the five-minute version, basically, of how to create, you know, a very slick, fast data analytics app using Python. So I'll reiterate, and I will show you, um, just for your reference, the slide, uh, rather the um, the Python packages uh, that we are using, which are really important. So quickly, they are dash device, um, plotly, um, and court. Those are the most
most important ones. Thank you for your time.